Hey, what's up, guys? A new review here on the BlackBerry Bold 9700. I almost said Curve. Uh, well, it's been out for three, three to four days now. Uh, this is the T-Mobile's version. AT&T's version comes out on Sunday. They're pretty much the exact same thing. Only difference is T-Mobile does UMA, AT&T doesn't. But besides that, let me go ahead and review it on the hardware, phone quality. OS and how it stands up with today's smartphones. Let's go over the hardware here. Here we have the Bold 9700. As you can see, it's very curve like, and I'm going to do a comparison in just a second. You got the Bold keyboard. For the first time, you got, or the second time now, because the Storm 2 did it, the call button is actually facing backwards on Blackberries, and I'll show you in a second. To the left, guys, you got your micro USB, your 3.5 millimeter headphone port and you got your convenience key right here. The back you got the leather back, you got a 3.2 megapixel camera and you got the flash. Over to the right side you got the volume rocker, you got the camera switch right here. And you also here in the bottom guys you have these little metal things, uh, they're for the Blackberry dock, it pretty much charges it that way. It's very cool. That's it for the hardware guys. Now just real quick to get this over with, people are complaining that the battery door is very hard to remove. Uh, it's not hard at all. I mean, all I have to do is lock the screen. That's the rest of what I do. Put your thumbs right here. It's off. So how easy that was, guys? One more time. No effort. So battery door is solid. I definitely like this new design. It's not wiggly or wobbly at all. And it stays there. So let's go ahead and do a comparison with other Blackberries, guys. Now just please excuse my voice. I'm a little sick today. Here it is next to the Curve 8900. As you can see, the Curve 8900 has, or they have the exact same screen. The Curve looks a little wider. I don't know if you can tell, guys, but the bezel, this silver bezel right here, things makes it bigger. On the Blackberry Bold, they made that bezel smaller, as you can see. So here you go, side by side, same screen, different keyboards. Again, side by side, very similar again, guys. So you can see here. They both have a 3.2 megapixel camera. Here you go. One thing they improved a lot, though, is now when you charge the bolts up here, on the curve is actually down here, which kind of interferes with typing every now and then. So here they are, side by side, one more time. Let's go ahead and compare it to the Tour. Now this is a dummy unit, guys. This isn't a real one, so. Here you go, they have the exact same keyboard except for the bottom rows, the bottom rows on the tour are bigger. See the camera could focus, so you can see they are bigger. The right side, again very similar to the curve, and to the tour and curve are practically the same thing, with the charger being at the bottom again. So you can see the Bolt 9700 one with these rubberized buttons, they are great, they're a lot better than these. Both got the 3.2 megapixel camera, it's positioned differently with flash. As you can see, size wise, the tour is bigger, fatter, and heavier. But CDMA does require extra things, I believe, so that's what makes it heavier. Now let's compare it to its uh, kind of, I wouldn't say similar, but not. Again, another demi unit, guys. The Blackberry Gemini 8520. This is the first BlackBerry with the trackpad, second BlackBerry with the trackpad, and I'll get to that in just a second. I'll just leave it at that. It is great. But here's a comparison, guys. Again, it's the first phone with the rubberized buttons. The Bold's the second one. Here you go by size. So the Bold is going to be a little longer than the 8520, but thinner, or not as wide as the 8520. I go side by side. So you can kind of see how small the bulb is. And just for the hell of it, guys, I'm throwing a, a Storm, a Storm 1. Again, another dummy unit. See, a Storm 1 kind of dwarfs it. Storm 1 is taller, is fatter, is heavier. And there you go, guys.